Only the Holy Spirit knows what you need. For he will give you all things that do not block the way to the light. And what else could you need? And this is where this beautiful care comes in because one of the questions that Jess had was, I want to know about ownership. Um, why is ownership a bad thing? <laughs> was part of her question. And uh, yeah, and so this is it in here. Because ownership, it's, it, ownership itself, it's a concept. You know, in, in heaven, what is there to own? When it's just pure love, what owns what? It's pure love. There is not one aspect of a self owning something else. And so it's obviously part of this dream world. It's part of the ego's world to even have ownership. And yet, it's only when it's left to you. We can give over these concepts and we can give over what we believe we have to the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit can use everything to help unwind our mind from from our belief in it, of what it is to us. Because in here, Jesus says, in time he gives you all the things that you need, all the things that you need have, and he will renew them as long as you have need of them. Isn't that beautiful? So it's really not about sacrifice. It's not that you have to give up what you think you need. In fact, if you try to take that approach to awakening, you're just reinforcing this belief in sacrifice. Um, and it's, it, it doesn't unwind your mind. And so we have to give charge of this unwinding over to the Holy Spirit because he knows how deep this goes. And he, in here it says he gives you all the things that you need have. I keep messing up on that line. Maybe I don't need anything anymore. <laughs> In time, he gives you all the things that you need have, and he will renew them as long as you have need of them. He will take nothing from you as long as you have need of it. And yet, he knows that everything you need is temporary and will but last until you step aside from all your needs and realize that all of them have been fulfilled so but again I emphasize in this we can't take charge of this journey ourselves. it's like the Holy Spirit has to very gently unwind our mind and replace as he goes into in this section very carefully our, the dreams of need and lack have to be replaced with happy dreams